Hello, my name is Iki Balam, and I'm presenting my work on the Interactive Algebra Interface with my mentor, Dr. Melissa Horta Martinez. I'm a student from the Instituto Tecnológico de Estudios Superiores de Monterrey, and Melissa Horta Martinez is the leader of the Shred Lab, Social Haptics and Education Lab from Carnegie Mellon University. And what about hands on learning? Even though mathematics is considered an abstract subject, research has shown that astro mathematics concepts can be connected and grounded through bodily interactions, and there has been developed a wide range of dynamic and interactive environments to teach mathematics. Research has also shown that a lack of interactive experiences with mathematics concepts leads to a gap in experimentation for the student. These studies have suggested that kinesthetic lessons incorporating movement in the process of learning instead of just listening and visualization have been associated with better student outcomes. Now let's talk about the interactive algebra interface. We propose a, part, a pair of graphs to interact with, with the interface. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be these colors of the image, since there is also a calibration stage where you can use the color of the globe you select uh, to select the hue, saturation, and value boundaries that are going to be used during the simulation for filter the hand fingertips. There is a bottom here in the, in the calibration section that will also save these values in an array that will be used for, by the interface to filter the fingertips and then select the centers and post-processing uh, things that I'm going to explain later. But how it works from the inside? First, we launch the interface. This will initialize itself with the first values for the particle positions. Then we'll capture a frame. And we'll filter it by color uh, and apply some math operations to clean it and fill some tiny holes that may exist in the fingertips. Then we start extract the center of the fingertips and we will decide based on that information if any hand is closed. If we don't have any hand closed, then we will proceed to capture another frame. If we do have any uh, any hand closed, we will uh, apply an impulse to the graph particle and simulate uh, all of the particles via Braille integration. Then we will render and update the interface and we will proceed an, another time to capture a frame. Now, let's talk about one of the two simulations that we will, the line simulation. Uh, here in the left side, we see three, three points, three white dots. These dots represent the fingertips. Uh, these are actually the fingertips of a real lab uh, of, that I simulated myself. Uh, when we close the hand, uh, our red, this red dot will change its color to a green dot. So we can move the white dots and then we can uh, see how this red line that is the, the feet of the white dots will uh, move. And then the goal of the of the interactive algebra interface that we have it now is to match two equations. A target equation that is given by, by a structure or by the program itself, match that equation to your equation. Your equation is uh, actually the red line that is going to be fitted. So once you have a 5% error within these two equations, between these two equations, we are going to proceed to uh, show a new target equation and then you have to match them again. The second simulation is a parable simulation. Here you can see again the three white dots that will be your, your glove fingertips. And you can see how you can manipulate the parabola at the, at the right. Uh, here we are constrained into the right and left side, right and left, and we are seeing an, a fitted equation that is a second degree polynomial. Uh, your equation is also a second degree polynomial, and your target equation is also a second degree polynomial. Again, you have to match these two equations with a 5% error. Future work. Of course, there are some things to do. So for this uh, interface, we are going to incorporate that to classrooms and evaluate with students. We are going to see if we really have a difference between this uh, interface and the normal way of teaching abstractly algebra, for instance, so that we can see if the 
students have a very different or a very important outcome that we can see and, then, and that we can uh, measure. Another very interesting feature will be to add haptics or to the glove. This haptics is the way that we can touch things so that we are not just going to virtually move the particles, but that we are also feeling the particles. That will be a very interesting feature and, and we can uh, implement later in the future. Finally, we would like to thank the School of Computer Science from Carnegie University and Dr. John Dolan and Rachel Worthing for giving me the opportunity to take part of the RIS 2019 program edition.